Hi, my name is Stephen Oliver, and I want to talk today about teleportation effects. The most primitive ones were the simplest ones, and were used on things like uh, lost in space and so on, and where you simply vanished and came back again. Or, when things got a little bit more complicated, you just faded away. And back again. Or, you simply walked into a portal. And were gone. Of course, you then had to walk back in again, didn't you? You could do uh, a few extras, bells and whistles and so on, more simple ones where you just vanished into that, or you zoomed up out of nowhere. The ones that first started to use it most were Star Trek, where you had the transporter. transporter effects you come across where you just, well, just leave yourself. Off your bones and build you back up again. I think I'll give that one a miss. You could be surrounded by a bright light. Or uh, there will be sort of rings come up and zoom you away. Things got better as CGI got better. For instance, there's the Nightcrawler effect. I hate this man of sulfur. Another one is used by demons, the Hellfire effect. I hope the landlord doesn't notice the scorch marks. Or smoke without mirrors. Of course, these 
day, science has advanced quite a lot, so we know about fractals. So you could just appear and disappear using fractals. Or go through a wormhole. Or you could be twisted through a wormhole. No, it does disturb your hair style a bit. Or you could be atomized. Or, well, yeah, I'm sure you can think of a few yourselves. But at the moment, I've got work to do, so if you'll excuse me. Bye-bye.